Hi everybody, I'm Dan Bovey, your Precinct 16 Chair in Hopkins County. Um, we, I just got back from uh, the National Convention in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, and that was, that was quite an event. I've got a number of pictures to share with you. Uh, not only uh, my pictures and my videos, but some from the other delegates that were down on the floor at the time when President Trump took the stage. These, uh, this was a very historic moment. I, I believe uh, the news media is also reporting that the Republican Party never seemed more together. And I'd have to agree with that. When you hear 300 delegates out there uh, all singing God Bless America, well, it you know, kind of drives the point home. So <laughs> we're, we were very, uh, very together on our nomination of President Trump and uh, his vice president select. So anyway, having said all that about this, if you need a ride to the polls in November, well, um, as your precinct chair, I'll be getting the word out and my number out so that um, we can help you out with that. Also, if you need to register, please contact me. It's, it's really easy to, to get it done. We can get this done. We need to get out the vote. We need to all participate. Okay. I know a lot of people have asked about signs to um, lawn signs for President Trump. We'll, we will have some of those and we're going to have some of those initially for sale for like 10 bucks. But we, we also need to uh, do some fundraising for Hopkins County GOP so we can continue to bring you more things. We also want to open a store down at the GOP headquarters so that if, if you want bling, if you want signs, if you want flags, you want things like that, you can come down to the store and pick them up right in Sulphur Springs. So that's where that money is going to. Um, we have some other events coming up. Of course, we have the President's Day Forum, which uh, always brings in a dollar or two. Uh, that'll help. But... Uh, and we need your help. So if you want to make a donation of $10 for a Trump sign, we'll have them probably next week or so. My understanding is they're ready down in Tyler. We just need to get somebody down in Tyler with a pickup truck to pick them up. So uh, that might even be me. I don't know when Donnie's getting back anyway. So, but, uh, so we'll do that and we'll get, get, get all that stuff together. So, uh, sit back and enjoy the video. Appreciate you guys. Uh, it was an honor being your delegate for the Texas, Texas uh, Convention down in San Antonio. Also being an honor to be your uh, representative at the National Convention. That's one of the reasons why I post so much. And it sounds like people are here, so I've got to go. Talk to you later. Bye. All right, this is a picture of uh, the holding area where we were kept until such time as the buses could pick us up. This, uh, this particular tent held uh, people from all delegations and, uh, you know, 350 people in our delegation. Uh, that's quite a few people divided by 60 people per bus. Uh, that's a lot of buses. As you can see here, we are uh, just kind of hanging around, uh, hanging around until the buses come and uh, and pretty much uh, chat about the day's events and whatever happened at the at the uh, at the convention. Here's a picture of me. <laughs> one night after the convention uh, just hanging out with the rest of the folks trying to trying to kill time before the buses showed up here's a typical breakfast um, meeting we uh, they were well attended people uh, 
people showed up um, all the time for these breakfast meetings. And uh, we usually had a full house over at Premier Park, which was a couple of blocks away from my hotel. So I usually have to hike over there in the morning. But uh, yeah, a little bit of a walk didn't hurt me at all. So here's one of our speakers. Uh, I don't know who all of these people are. Probably should know who all these people are, but I do not. He's getting into it. <laughs> Here's a picture of uh, the back of Donnie Weisenbaker's head um, <laughs> at one of the breakfasts. All right, um, here's the view from um, from where the alternates had to sit. We were kind of pushed off into the corner. Um, you can kind of see down there where all the all the hats are. That's where the Texas delegation was. And we were able to sit up behind the Texas delegation the first night or two, but that kind of changed. Um, I got down on the floor a couple of times and and by the time I got up into the stands, all the seats were taken or either saved. Here's our Secretary of State um, under Trump last time. Um, kind of a bad picture, but it's from a mile away. <laughs> so it's a little better picture coming up. We walked out in January of 2021. The Iranian regime was afraid, and the people of Israel were strong and secure, and we treated like the friend and ally that they need to be. Everywhere we went, everywhere we went, religious freedom was protected. We held three summits in North Korea, and North Korea was quieted. We had begun to, we'd begun an honorable exit from Afghanistan. And, and not a single Chinese spy balloon flew across the United States of America. Four years. This is another shot of uh, the convention floor from up there. And uh, we, we were right next to the newscasters. Um, you know, so when the music was playing, yeah, they would they would do their their news cast up there so you didn't always get to hear the music like we did but uh, the the music was pretty great um, I really had no complaints about the music at all it was uh, it was awesome and uh, really enjoyed it so sorry you missed it it was uh, it was great There ain't no doubt I love you 
It was about this time that Donald Trump came out, and uh, you can see uh, him at the podium there. We will not break, we will not bend, we will not back down, and I will never stop fighting for you, your family, and our magnificent country. With everything I have to give, with all of the energy and fight in my heart and soul, I pledge to our nation tonight. Thank you very much. I pledge that to our nation. We're going to turn our nation around and we're going to do it very quickly. Thank you. This election should be about the issues facing our country and how to Make America successful, safe, free, and great again. God bless the United States of America. Thank you very much. at the airport I noticed this lady had on these earrings I thought I'd take a picture of them um, for some of my friends who actually make earrings now we had these signs all over the convention floor 
I picked up a couple and brought them home uh, just to uh, as a little souvenir but they were everywhere they would hand them out by the stack uh, so that we could uh, show our support for Donald Trump and uh, JD Vance it was uh, it was pretty cool they had all kinds of different things on them uh, <laughs> That's in my truck now, so, but. <laughs> um, here's the belt buckle that we all received. We, we got belt buckles uh, for being at the convention. That was a very nice addition. Uh, there were two belt buckles available. One was $165. These were given to every member of the delegation for free, um, just for participating. So uh, that's pretty wonderful keepsake that I have there and uh, I really uh, I'll treasure that for a long time we also received uh, our, our convention guide of course uh, with all the good stuff in it so um, there's Carrie Lake and a couple of uh, Texas Republican uh, politicians uh, We'll see what happens with Carrie Lake. I'm also kind of curious to see what happens with Tulsi Gabbard, but that's our first lady right there. Um, of course, Donald Trump, um, we all pretty much uh, to a person agree that the hand of God came in to save his life that day. So we're grateful for that. Here's a picture of me on the convention floor. Um, the convention floor was uh, was a lot of fun, but you really couldn't see much from down there. We could actually see much more from up above. So, uh, but I got to be down on the convention floor a couple of times, and uh, I really enjoyed it. So, wasn't too bad at all. So one of the people that I know um, saw me on C-SPAN and took this picture screenshot for me. I really appreciate that, and they sent it to me. This is now my uh, profile picture on Facebook uh, uh, for obvious reasons. Uh, this is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity, and I'm glad they did that. That was very nice. Of course, we had uh, the fireman, Corey Comparatory. He... Um, was killed at the rally protecting his uh, wife and daughter. It was a very sad situation. Um, President Trump um, did a small tribute to uh, Corey and his family. They also set up a fund for him and his family, uh, for his family mostly. Um, and they've raised something like six million dollars for them. Uh, I know that will not replace the man um, who was a good man, and uh, but um, it should help with the kids for uh, a time to come, their education, and their upbringing. good idea. Now that we have a vacancy, this young man could use a job. <laughs> uh, Donnie Weisenbaker encouraged me to take a, a picture with this gentleman. Um, I think you probably all know him. He, uh, he was at the convention. And uh, here we have a picture of uh, Trump, close up. I didn't take these pictures. These were pictures taken by other delegates who were down on the floor, happened to get close enough. <laughs> I never got that close. So, um, but these are uh, these are pretty great pictures of uh, Trump and uh, his supporters, as well as his family.
Here's a picture of uh, all of us on the bus. Here we're going back to the hotel, and the uh, hotel rides back um, were notable in that I sat with two different people who were at the rally no more than 10, 15 feet away from Donald Trump when the bullets started flying. So they had quite interesting stories to tell, and I listened to them intently. But we talked... Um, basically from the time we got on that bus all the way to the hotel, which is about an hour and a half to two hours long. Uh, Tucker Carlson is up in the stands with uh, Speaker Johnson. Uh, pretty cool with President Trump and his family and his supporters. J.D. Vance, <clears throat> who the other gentleman is up there, I have no idea. Uh, the Trump women, very beautiful women. There's some uh, evil comments there. Uh, can ignore that. We got uh, we got a lot of information as to the daily events that were going on around uh, Milwaukee, so that we could schedule our day. Here's another family at breakfast. You can see. Uh, Typical breakfast is on their plates. Uh, I don't know these people, but, uh, well, somehow I inherited their pictures, so. <laughs> we did have a variety of speakers every morning, um, and that, that was pretty great. It's a little uh, trinket there. Hmm. President Trump, of course, and some Bible verses that were passed around. I don't know these people, but they look like they were having a great time. Uh, Ted Cruz was there. He gave about a 40-minute stand-up routine. It was uh, pretty awesome. I don't know. How many of you happen to see my postings in Facebook? But, uh, yeah, I covered most of it. This little girl uh, led us in the Pledge of Allegiance one morning. That was pretty cool. I do support kids doing that. Um, used to do that at the school board. Um, I printed up the instructions for the dais so that the kids would know what to do and how to do it. Uh, and uh, follow the guidelines for the Pledge of Allegiance. Uh, I think that's uh, that's a good thing for kids to know and uh, and to do whenever they get a chance. Uh, here's Miss Texas with that little girl. Ted Cruz again. Ted Cruz with a little girl. And uh, President Trump is Rambo. Uh, <laughs> Probably sends the wrong message. There were dogs there. There were two dogs there with our delegation that were very well behaved. This one has shoes on, uh, boots on. Anyway, uh, they were very well behaved. They didn't cause a problem at all. Um, their owners were very good about taking care of them. Um, you know, so the kids, the uh, kids, <laughs> the dogs were uh, were a pleasure to be around, and the babies were too. And uh, here's our, our Governor Abbott uh, receiving a belt buckle from the belt buckle guy. He uh, he sold these belt buckles for 165 bucks. I, I did not get one. Um, probably should have, but uh, it's a commemorative belt buckle. Uh, beautiful thing. He really did a good job in that. Another view from the cheap seats. <laughs> Another view of the cheap seats. <laughs> this is obviously before one of the conventions started, or the convention started. Uh, really, there's some, uh, and we had uh, two buses, one at one o'clock, one at three o'clock, and um, 
or 330 in some cases. But uh, there's some cheese heads there. But the uh, one o'clock, uh, got to see the place um, doing rehearsals, and and we also received a lot of information about the the events that were going on around Milwaukee. We would, really didn't have time to do a lot of them, mostly because we had to either be back at the hotel or on the bus or going back to the hotel um, or in the convention. Um, but there were a lot of events going on at that time. So a, a variety of book signings, a variety of uh, celebrity discussions. We also got uh, a daily rundown from our fearless leaders of, of what events were planned for the day and uh, what was going, going to happen that night at the convention. I don't know these guys. I don't know these guys. Yeah, I should know that guy. Anyway, uh, Ted Cruz again. <laughs> He's everywhere. Wow. Didn't realize I had so many pictures. Uh, Marjorie Taylor Greene, um, Governor Abbott. And uh, here's all the delegates at the, uh, at the steps of the Wisconsin State uh, Capitol, which is a cute little building. We could probably fit that in my yard, um, but we probably won't. So we all piled in there together. I'm kind of off to the left there, um, <laughs> somewhere, kneeling down. I didn't make it in these pictures. Um, I wish somebody would have posted a, a few more pictures of everybody, but, uh, and this gentleman, I don't know either. Uh, But the balloon drop was awesome. It's, uh, it was really cool to see. And I don't know him, but that's the balloon drop as well. Different angle. We had fun. You know, the delegates found things to keep themselves entertained. And there's President Trump with a classic thumbs up. Prayer for travelers, and Lord, we needed those, boy. I'll tell you, going home, or getting there was a chore. Going home, again, was a chore. It was a mess, mostly because of the computer glitches. Some travelers were six hours late. I was two hours delayed uh, getting back to Texas, so, which wasn't bad for me. It was bad for the people who had to pick me up in Dallas. So, kind of messed up a few days. There. Don't know this gentleman. Uh, freedom dinner. There was all kinds of events going on at the time. So, and all kinds of people. But all of them are smiling and happy. There was a replica of the Oval Office there. That was pretty cool, but uh, I didn't get a chance to get in there and get my picture taken. But uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. The uh, square around the convention center that had all kinds of events going on. Of course, President Trump, we believe that angels uh, have been watching out for him and uh, taking care of him. Uh, and that's the real secret service right there. Everybody decorated their hats differently. I pulled stuff out of my collection and uh, decorated my hat with pins. Our beautiful first lady. She was treated pretty badly. This sign cracked us up. So... <laughs> <laughs> the long way to Bucky's. Another happy family in the Wisconsin State House. There were a few Trump supporters, but not a lot. Uh, Wisconsin is a blue state, so we had to keep that in mind. Hopefully we left a real good impression. 
Again, we had morning speakers. Uh, we had sponsors for the morning speakers. And somebody had to pay for our breakfast. So, yeah, it was pretty good. More pictures of the delegates taking over the Wisconsin State uh, Capitol. We enjoyed doing that. Like I said, it's a cute little thing. <laughs> and there I am, right there. Yeah, that's me. Donnie Weisenbaker's right behind me. So, having said all this about that, I'll take a look at some of these videos I have. Republican National Convention, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, Texas delegation member. No, no state can beat this, I'll tell you that much. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. If we, if we can, let's turn. A massive outage by a cybersecurity company has crashed banks, airlines, and 911 all across the world right now. So CrowdStrike, which is a cybersecurity company, is currently facing an outage and a ton of people in the corporate space are having their Windows computers look like this with the blue screen of death. Even major news corporations are not. Yeah, this part was pretty awful. Um, 
we get to the hotel, or we get to the, well, from the hotel, I left the hotel at 4 a.m., ended up at the uh, Milwaukee uh, airport uh, about an hour and a half, two hours later, but there were supposed to be four people sharing a cab. Um, nobody showed up except me, so I footed the entire bill for that cab from uh, Madison to Milwaukee. Really kind of irritated me. Then, because of the computer glitch, we were delayed a couple of hours, but uh, Milwaukee was pretty much okay. Not even able to do the morning news because their displays in the back are not working. Not only banks in 911 just across America here, but United Airlines, American Airlines, and Delta have all had their computer systems crash and have reached out to the FAA to order ground stops across the entire country. Meaning if you're supposed to be getting on a flight this morning with Delta, United, or American, right now you're probably not getting on that flight. Also, the entire country of Berlin just canceled every single flight out of their country because these computer outages and emergency services, Amazon, Gmail, and a a widespread IT issue has caused this to happen and this just happened in the last 20 minutes. So again, if you or anyone you know is supposed to take a flight today or you're getting some sort of issue with your computer, this is why and you need to send this to everyone you know. Well, and there you have it. That's the end of the video. Thanks for watching. We appreciate you uh, tuning in, staying with us this whole time. We'll talk to you later. Thanks a lot. Thank you so much for watching. Please follow us on Facebook. And don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. And we'll see you next time. Thanks again. This is a publication of the Hopkins County Republican Party.